Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? It is 7.37, maybe 7.38 a.m. here in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, I'm in the, not the back alley yet. Right? There's a the back alley. There's a the back driveway. And uh, I wanted to show y'all all the infrastructure that's going on on Swandale. Um, and to the best of my knowledge, uh, we were not made aware of what this work is. I guess perhaps because it's not in front of our house directly. Could be a reason. It's sprinkling a little bit, just a little bit. Misting, it's misting. You ready for just let's go. Let's go. Ben just being a super sniffer. It's misting. I got on my new shoes. So hopefully it doesn't rain too much. They're kind of a cloth kind of uh, something. Anyway. So as you can see, you can already see it, right? You can see it from my house. Uh, uh, Minji, let's go, let's go. I showed y'all yesterday, a little bit on my run. Not on Warriors Creek, that's Warriors Creek right here. But on uh, Honey Creek over there. Okay, I'm ready. See how it doesn't go all the way down the cul de sac? This one, it stops a little further than this one. Uh, I said it was road work. Right, it's the sidewalk. You see, it's the sidewalk. Watch out, Minjo. And uh, as you see, it has this black line, which is new on this side of the, the sidewalk, a road. You see, I have no problems with trucks like that. You drive a truck like that? Okay. You drive a truck like that through this neighborhood as I'm exiting the back alley? Obviously, there's, uh, I have an issue with that. Why wouldn't I? I could literally be anywhere else. Literally. If uh, the acknowledgement of the universal reality in which everybody else lives uh, was happening here. In a six feet uh, around me. I could be anywhere else. I don't have to be here looking at a truck who looks like uh, the old version of this new truck they got. Uh, he who shall not be named. Retired military and FBI. And uh, what that does to the stock market, I know 401ks are affected by the stock market. So I'd be curious to know what uh, Retirement in the, from the military and FBI does to the stock market. Because, you know, I don't know my credit score. You done being a super sniffer? You ready to cross the street, Benjamin? So, uh, we had a little issue with his shirt, but my mom sewed it. Uh, honk, honk. Because uh, whenever he used the restroom, it would get on the shirt. Honk, honk. Me too. So here it is up close. Benjo, what are you doing? Oh my god, he's a super sniffer. Don't worry everybody. Benjo, uh uh, let's go, let's go. And as you see they have this caution tape there. So I need to run this side. 
You'll see that to cut the side off. All the way to there. So I'm, I'm very curious to know what it is they're doing. And it looks like that rope thing. It's in addition to that little black rope. It looks like the black rope goes in the private property. And then this, I don't know. Um, I don't know if they mess with the Google Fiber, right? The uh, little one right here. It's kind of hard to tell, right? This is Google Fiber. But then you got maybe you got new Google Fiber, so it doesn't matter. I don't know. I'm just showing y'all if you're interested. Uh, so, so far, um, it's just Warriors Creek and Honey Creek that look like this. Uh, so, uh, which is me and Banjo's Walk, which is also the NISD school bus route. So, I'm, even though I showed y'all the other one yesterday, um, I'm going to show y'all again today. Why not? Don't worry, I'm on the sidewalk. Let's go, Bingo. Bingo. Okay, it's a good selfie. Anyway. So, so far, it's just a... Uh, these two streets. So this little turnabout, Honey Creek, Squaw Creek, Wrestlers Creek, the two colder sacks uh, that it empties out to. You see? The private property there. Who's? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Which is the second time that's happened, right? This line right here was also um, something they did uh, relatively recently. 2023, 2024. Yeah, people Oh, now he's in the middle of the street. They're gonna get so mad. Where'd you? Where'd you? <laughs> okay. So here we got the other side. Currently in construction. Okay. Okay. I don't want to get too close because my new shoes are on. And uh, so on this one, I guess this side of the street went farther. So you see the private property there, and it looks like they've done uh, this black rope, you see? Obviously went here. For what? I don't know. I don't know what this black cord's for. It looks like there's a little bit of a, a cut. I don't know why. Maybe they removed the Google Fiber? This part here looks like it was cut. Oh, did you? And of course, they've got those bricks and stuff. So, 
So we have the sidewalk cut, uh, dirt. We have this sidewalk cut. It looks like a lot more rocks, right? And of course, this sidewalk is cut. So, and we are at Honey Creek in Swandale. You'll see. So, the, I don't know. And then we got that far over there. So, uh, there's that update. In case you're wondering whether you live in the city or not. Windu, Windu. Cars are parked the same. Interesting, sometimes that don't happen. Windu. Anyway. Uh, something that I wanted to say in addition to showing y'all all, all this city funded uh, what was it? Uh, it's this sold bar uh, sold buyers barricade and then the phone number I don't know if y'all want to see that There it is. Looks like a new cone and everything. All right? And of course, that caution tape. But, uh, well, Benj is over here in this creek. A little creek area. And another walker. So it makes total sense, right? Uh, in the court of public opinion, I'm here because of why? But everybody else around me, all like that, completely unrelated. Completely random, just like this word. Uh, I think is what they were convinced of. Um, anyway. Something I did want to say was that uh, Okay, just a few. Was um I think me and my husband are perfect for each other. Um I noticed that uh and I don't know if it's just something that I'm looking for, but I've noticed with my husband forty five specifically. Um it's all about like uh, what his personality is, uh, how, what he's like, um, and stuff like that. Um, and I just wanted to say uh, this Saturday morning uh, that we're perfect for each other. Okay, he does have a really big personality. That's true. Uh, <laughs> I used to say his little personality in back, like early 2021. Uh, I don't think publicly, um, like in my social media videos. But I used to say he has he's got a, a little personality, you know, at certain moments in time, because <laughs> uh, he's he's a very big person. He's got uh, a very big personality, and he. Um, takes in the world that way and I'm here to tell y'all that um, uh, I'm here as his wingman uh, partner in life uh, ready to uh, fight whatever battle ready to um, uh, absorb and encourage uh, whatever sort of uh, emotions which are always big <laughs> in a big way meaningful way uh, for him uh, so I see people talking about he's got a big personality yeah and I'm right here uh, receiving it and ready for that uh, in all the ways 
He's got a big personality, uh, and I can handle it. Okay? Uh, he's an extreme gentleman, a gentleman to the extreme. I mean, I don't want to be mean to uh, bring in the political parties again, but uh, <laughs> one of the reasons he's a Republican conservative is because he is a gentleman. I never in my life, you just think in fairy tales, uh, that sort of uh, treatment happens. <laughs> he's an extreme gentleman. Oh my God. Uh, and I'm here. He's got a big personality. And I'm here to take care of that. So don't worry. He's got a big personality. So do I. Our personalities are, uh, go together very well. One second. Let me get my dog. <laughs> okay. So. I got my puppy. Uh, so anyway. Uh, I'm just saying. He's got a big personality, um, and anytime there's a kind of PR, I guess I shouldn't say political campaign, because uh, those words are can be easily uh, have a lot of a meaning uh, depending on how you use them. Uh, there's sort of this PR. Uh, political campaign where uh, something happens with my social media uh, uh, something has to happen with his or he has to have a reaction or something like that um, so that being said uh, I support him 100% 200% so well why doesn't she like every one of his Instagram photos uh, you know there's a lot going on there okay uh, <laughs> I can still support him 100% and 200% uh, and not like every single one of his Instagram posts. If things were different, I'd be liking, you know, if I wasn't in this neighborhood, all like this, I'd be liking every single one of his Instagram posts. Every single one. Um... You know, I don't want to be out here talking about week back and uh, how Joe Rogan's not funny. You know, out here like this, on this NISD school bus route. I mean, obviously, uh... You know, I thought I've already uh, made my arguments when I would say, uh, were Harriet and Tariq paid? Was that a paying gig? They were just living their lives. Part of the benefit was not having an income, just having a father in the oil industry to have connections in LA. Which, by the way, week back, Jimmy Dore added another show in LA. Uh, later this month so if you don't want to go to that I'm here to support you in that um, because obviously it doesn't make sense right he's he got more followers uh, when uh, after 2021 but the Young Turks didn't. Why? Because of revenge stuff? You know, it's another reason. I don't want to be out here talking like that. In my opinion, I think if I say, uh, were Harriet and Tariq paid? Did uh, Mandy and Liz, did they get an income? Uh, what's going on here? Certainly never talked to me about it. In my opinion, I think that addresses all of that. But I don't know what they got going on. What they got planning on going on. What they got planning to tell people who are around me going on. Um, so I just want to say that... Uh, I 
I support my husband 45, 100, 200 percent. And he supports me the same. He says more. But of course I want to tell him the same. So, um, I just want to say if, uh, people say, oh, he's got a big personality. He's not going to like, no, he's not going to like that. He's an extreme gentleman. It should not be up to me to have to say that, to have to be here and all that. But here we are because we're strong individuals who believe in the greater good. And, uh. Uh, actual law and order meaning the unalienable unalien whatever that word is rights that we as Americans and I guess as peoples but we don't want to be telling other countries what to do have I think that's another positive uh, stereotype uh, with America is uh which again i'm sure people can comment and say bring a comment or bring up discussions to keep the positive uh vibe going um Benju, about uh one second i'll go ahead and show you there's this guy over he's walking really slowly and Benju slowly following him <laughs> Benju, ah uh -uh. One second. Okay. Um, so I think one of the positive stereotype uh, qualities and attributes America was founded on and uh, uh, is uh, something that's descriptive of America is um, the concept of freedom. And I think when other people uh, who aren't from America uh, think about America in a positive way. It's probably um, uh, stuff to do with uh, we don't want to be telling other countries what to do uh, and what kind of governments they should have. Um, even though I know there's a lot of instances uh, that are contrary to what I just said. And if that's something you want to talk about, then by all means, I don't care. Let's go, Benji. Benji. One second. And again, if you want to continue that conversation in, into a, like, a, you know, America wasn't a very big country when it was founded. Um, had a lot of frontier to explore. Benji, let's go. One second. I don't want to be here. Okay, and so if you want to talk about uh, the foundation of America and stuff like that. Um, you know, I hope we kind of talk about my situation, right? Anyway, uh, it was a, a, a lot of exploration there. Um, let's go, Benjo. I don't like this area. I just get... I don't like it. Let's go, Benjo. Benjo, oh, wait, one second. Okay. <laughs> anyway. So I'm not sure about uh, the Eastern Hemisphere, as far as the Western Hemisphere and uh, how countries have started. Um, that's the history I know. And I guess I should look into other countries and how they started and all of that. Um, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, here's the road work. It's not happening in the back alley. Um, and my husband is a, an extreme gentleman. I've never met uh, a person as uh, uh, good as my husband. He's the best person ever. Um, I know his personality, his character, who he is. Let's go, Benji. One second. 
Okay. Uh, I know his personality. I know who he is. Um, we're absolutely perfect together um, in all the ways. And um, so there's strategy out there trying to be like, uh, if I try to express myself and uh, at a certain time of events and stuff he's got going on, then it's not going to be a good look. It's, you know, attack, attack, attack. Um, I would be there at his trials. Right there uh, next to him, uh, like I'm a secret, almost like I'm a secret service. That's how close I'd be to him. I know what the child's about. I've been Googling those live updates. CNN, NBC, they've, they've got good live updates for the most part. Of course, I'm not there, so. But I'm just saying, if you've got this strategy of, oh, I can just say anything, and then you know his personality, he's going to react a certain way. Like he's uh, doesn't know what's going on, uh, other than uh, you know. Like I wake up in the morning, like he didn't know what's going on in the neighborhood. Uh, you know, we're a team. We're going to approach that as a team. He doesn't want me out here having to talk about all of that. There's a lot of things going on. The sacrifices he's making, I'm making to be smart, to uh, be thinking in the future, and etc, etc. So he's got a big personality. I know that. I love that about him. And don't worry, I got it. And don't worry, he's got me. And also, I don't have a yoga video for y'all today. So I don't think I'm going to be doing those daily yoga videos like I used to. Which, um, I think is probably a good sign, uh, for me, being stuck in this neighborhood, but I, I won't have a daily yoga video, so I'm, I'm not going to be telling y'all, sorry, I don't have a yoga video every day, I don't have one, I think it's going to just be like my tarot card videos, where, uh, for the most part, it'll be a regularly, a regular schedule, but it's probably not going to be an every day, so. I guess what I'm saying is that I'll surprise you with my yoga assistant videos. Um, on certain days, they won't be on a certain schedule. Um, so yeah, good morning, happy Saturday. Hope you have a good weekend. I'm gonna go spend some time with Benjo. He's not the one barking. If you, if y'all can hear that, there's a dog barking. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good one. Happy weekend.